of the Christ and Stanton United Methodist Churches. I pray that you've had a wonderful week and that you all are doing well as God continues to bless and be with us. I want to welcome all of you who are worshiping with us online. It is a joy that you tune in for our music and our messages each week. And I want to remind you also that for those that want to attend, we are gathering for in-house worship services at both churches. The Christ Church worships at 9 a.m. and the Stan Church worships at 1015 a.m. We do continue to follow COVID-19 protocols, mask wearing, uh, hand sanitizing, social distancing, and so on. So if you feel so inclined to join us in person, we welcome you with open hearts. Over the past two weeks, I've been sharing a short sermon series with you based on the book, Three Simple Rules. This book was written by Bishop Reuben Job, and it's based on three simple rules that our church's founder, John Wesley, suggested as a way of living our lives in holy and Christian ways as we continue our journey throughout our lives and certainly into this new year. We've heard about how we are to do no harm and to do good. Today, I finish this series by talking about how we stay in love with God. 
Our first scripture reading today comes to us from the Psalms. It is Psalm 105, verses 1 through 6, which says, Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, and the judgments he pronounced. You, his servants, the descendants of Abraham, his chosen ones, the children of Jacob. Our second scripture reading comes to us from the Gospel of John. It is John chapter 21, verses 15 through 17. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Jesus said, Take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, Do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, Feed my sheep. My friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pray. Holy Lord, we thank you for this time with you on this wonderful day. We thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love for us all. Open our hearts, open our ears to hear the message that you have for us this day. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. So good morning again to all of you. <clears throat> As I said, um, this morning we are concluding the series on John Wesley's Three Simple Rules. Uh, today is all about how to stay in love with God. Now, love is a decision. It's something you do. It requires things like discipline and perseverance and patience. Most importantly, it requires action. There are many places in the Bible that talks about love and the action of love. And one very well-known example is the story of the Good Samaritan. Another is our gospel reading from today. Jesus takes Peter aside and asks him directly, Peter, do you love me? And Peter says, yes, Lord, I love you. Jesus replies with a short and simple rule. He says, okay, then feed my lambs. Jesus asked him again, Peter, do you love me? And again, a little hurt this time, Peter says, you know I love you. Jesus replies, then tend to my sheep. Then Jesus asked a third time, Peter, do you love me? Now, this time, Peter is hurt to the core. He says, Jesus, you know everything. You know my thoughts even before I think them. You know that I love you. And Jesus says to Peter in reply, then feed my sheep and follow me. Jesus comes to Peter and asks the question about love. It's a question about love, yes, but also about Peter's discipleship, his devotion, his commitment to Christ. Jesus asked Peter three times about his love, the same number that Peter denied knowing Jesus. Okay, then, Jesus says, if you love me, then I need you to feed my lambs. I need you to tend to them, and I need you to follow me. And in doing so, he's giving Peter 
and us, the things that he and we need to do in order to fall in love with God. Jesus is giving all followers the tools that we need in order for us to become one with God. That's what we've been talking about for the last two weeks. John Wesley put together these three simple rules for all those who call themselves Methodist to follow, to live life as a Christian. These are rules to live by in order to become one with God, in order to fall in love with God. This leads us to our third rule, which is simply to stay in love with God. John Wesley said that love is an action. Love is something that we do. It's a decision that we make. And so in order to stay in love with God, we need to decide. We need to be willing to ask ourselves those tough questions, such as, am I willing to stay active with God? Am I willing to continue doing? Am I willing to continue to be Christ-like to those around me? John Wesley said, these things that we need to do are what will keep us in love with God. And these are the means by which we can fall in love and stay in love. And he called these things the means of grace. John Wesley said that means of grace and works of mercy are literally every work of charity that we do. It is one way that we grow closer in love with our neighbor and, therefore, with God. I can pick out some very easy examples. We support our local food shelves. We support the local schools in various ways. We support our communities in various ways. We support local, statewide, nationwide, and even global missions every year. You see, anything charitable that we do out of love and mercy for our neighbor is staying in love with God. So, you can read the first two rules of John Wesley. Do no harm and do good. Those first two rules are nothing more than works of mercy. But, if all we did was focus on the works of mercy... All we'd have is an incomplete picture. You see, as Christians, we are called to do more than works of mercy. We are called to do more than simply be a good neighbor and to love our neighbor as ourselves. To be a Christian means that we are also called to love God with everything we have. And in order to do that, we need to engage ourselves in works of piety, which are things like prayer, study of the word, worship, personal devotion of our lives to God. Those one-on-one -on -one things that form that very personal and intimate relationship with God. In other words, we need to love God with literally everything we have. So now we think about John Wesley's three simple rules. Simple rules. These rules may be simple, but they are not easy. Do no harm. That's tough. Do good. Are you kidding me? It's hard to master the first one. How can we do the second one? And then on top of it all, we need to add one more. Works of mercy toward others as we stay in love with God. These are simple rules, but these are hard to live out and practice in our lives. When we are called to live out these three simple rules, we realize that the power of Christ stands in our midst, encouraging us, inspiring us, and empowering us to go out and change the world. When we live out these three simple rules, when we do no harm, do good, and stay in love with God, our lives are transformed. When we live out these three simple rules in our churches, 
our churches are transformed. When we live out these three simple rules in our communities, yes, our communities are transformed. When we live out these three simple rules in our nation, our nation is transformed. And when we live out these three simple rules in our world, yes, our world is transformed. We are called to love the Lord our God with all our hearts, our minds, our soul, and our strength. And we are called to love our neighbor as ourselves. We are called, in other words, to live Christ-centered lives. And we do that by doing no harm, by doing good, and by staying in love with God. Let us pray. Holy Lord, three simple rules. Do no harm, do good, and stay in love with God. Three simple rules, but they are not easy. But Lord, with your strength, your grace, your glory, and your love, you will give us all the tools we need to live out those three simple rules. And so, Lord, we ask for that strength and grace and love so that we can hear your call and live out those rules of doing no harm, doing good, and staying in love with you. Oh, Lord, grant us peace and bless us as we hear and fulfill your call. Lord, all of this we ask in your holy and precious name. Amen. My friends, peace and blessings to you all. Amen. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus Thank you.